I've been a member of Toastmaster starting from 2015-18. As I've been a member, been an officer, been an area director and so on, I learned so many things and there are so many programs that you can be involved. If you want to become a better leader, you can join for the club officer training, even though you're not an officer. If you want to become a better speaker, there are so many workshops and Toastmaster meeting itself is the place where you, where you can become the better speaker. But among all the programs that I've been through so far, the best program that you can be involved is the speech contest. Oh. Madam Toastmaster, fellow members, and potential member guests. <laughs> <laughs> like Lisa said, I joined speech contest for several times, and luckily, because audience were so nice, hey. I was able to win the speech contest three times in a row. Oh. Actually, I joined four times, but I won just three one. <laughs> <laughs> and as I went through the speech contest, there are the reasons that you must compete for the speech contest. And I'd like to share the experience that how speech contest changed my attitude as a speaker, and two things that you can improve and you can earn as a speaker. So at 2015, I joined the humorous contest not because I was a funny person or humorous person, but because I just wanted to challenge myself as a speaker. My nickname when I was in high school was the last scholar in the chosen dynasty because I was so serious person. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to challenge myself. So I joined the humorous speech contest, and guess what? I won the second place at the club contest. Oh. But I wasn't be able to go up to the area level because there were, there were five, more than five clubs in my area. So first place went up to the club. But I never expected that people would laugh to my speech. So as a representative of YSTM, I went, because there were no contestants, <laughs> <laughs> I went straight up to the district and won the third place in the district contest. Oh. I was confident. I never expected that 300 people would laugh at my speech and enjoy the whole five to seven minutes of my speech. So I was very confident and at the 2016 spring speech contest, I thought I would at least go to the division. And guess what? I lost. Didn't look at the award at the area speech contest in English. I thought, okay, my English is not that good, so I can definitely go up to the national and be free of speech, and I won the third place at the division. Not a Bad, great, but I wasn't satisfied with myself. The big problem was, I thought I was a really good speaker. And I was, I was, I needed someone to blame, and I started to blame the audience and the judges. And after a year, I couldn't compete for the speech contest because I was, I served as a role as an area director. District leaders cannot compete for the contest. And after a year, when I watched the video that I took before, took during those days, oh my god hell, I was so bad speaker during those days. I shouldn't have blamed my judges and my audience. In fact, I was so way too confident, I was so full of myself. Instead of delivering the message, I was just busy telling the words that I memorized. So after watching my video, and after competing for the total speech contest, I start to think about my audience. I start to change the words in an easier way. If there are some logics that people cannot understand, I try to change it in an easier way. And I, if the me message, people will not understand my message or people doesn't really get the main idea of my speech, I change the whole script of it. And even for the judges. You know, in Toastmaster, not every judge are objective. This is the truth. But, but, if I really want to inspire and persuade my audience, you know, they, it doesn't matter whether they're judges, they are still one of my audience. So I decided to write a speech that I can persuade, inspire, and make them laugh. Not all, but most of the people. I'm not sure whether I can make all the people laugh, all the people inspired. But we can practice and try to give a lot of effort to and I think that changed my attitude as a speaker. Now I'm not speaking for myself. Now I speak for you. Now the things that changed myself, helped me as a speaker, was that I want to ask you a question. It doesn't matter whether it's present or past. 
How many? Is it five minutes old? Like, okay. Yes, yes. Really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, how many? How you are a member of one club? One club. You're you're from Christmas. <laughs> one club member. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Two clubs. Member of two clubs. Used to be. Doesn't matter. Three. 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 Four. Five. Okay, that's all me. <laughs> I used to be a member of, member of five clubs. And the benefit of being a five man five club member is that you can deliver same speech at the different clubs. Mm -hmm. And when you revise your speech over and over again, that's when you can make the masterpiece. So, if, but most of the people doesn't go to a lot of clubs. I mean, they don't, we don't have time. I don't have time, but I'm still member of three members. Oh, anyway. <laughs> the thing is, when you compete for the contest, this is the chance that you can practice your speech over and over and over. This is the maybe the only chance that you can you can practice. So that's why you should compete for the contest. And we should have some restriction for ourselves. You know, we have too many excuses. Okay, I'm too busy. I couldn't prepare my speech. Okay, I need to go play with my friends. I can't prepare. I can't do my speeches. But if you at least join the contest, there's some kind of restriction in your mind that okay, I, at least I should practice some. But, but guess what? That practice can change you as a speaker. And the, another thing is, there's a evaluation called round robin. For the guests who don't know, when the co contestant who go to another level, track, track one to we also rehearse the speech in the club. We do the round robin feedback, which means that every person in the room can give the feedback to the speaker. But it doesn't really feel good actually, because okay, everyone tells me, okay, I need to fix this, 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 and that. It doesn't really feel good, but those feedback. Is the, that time is the only time that you can get the feedback from everyone, not just from one value. You do get the comments, but that's not enough. But if you get the all the valuable feedback from the audience, even from the guest, I got the one value of feedback from the guest. They say, okay, your speech was good, but I think your gesture was too much. It was different opinion from everyone. But when I went to other clubs, there are some members who said exactly the same thing that the guests said. So every feedback can be valuable for yourself. And joining the contest, in, uh, joining the contest means that you can get the feedback from a guest. Now there was a day that I thought, okay, the people who win the speech contest are they're just special people. They won because they are special. But in fact, they are special because they join the speech contest. What makes you special is what you do. So just do it. And if you want to become the better speaker, first three things you need to do. First thing, guest be member. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing, deliver speeches. Doesn't matter, once a week, uh, not once a week, too much. <laughs> once a month, once a, uh, once, a two, once in a two months, doesn't matter. Make the habit of it. Third, join the speech contest. I really hope that every one of you can participate in the contest, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you at the district level. <laughs> That's the first